Before we start this video, mga curls, you will see my lipstick fade throughout the video. Please don't judge. I, I drank water and hindi ko na na nag fade na pani lipstick ko, so don't judge. If you guys are wondering ano lipstick yun nag fade, the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, don't get this lipstick. I was trying this lipstick out for this video, it doesn't last long. Uminom ko lang tubig, nag fade na yung lipstick ko on the sides, not cute. Sometimes my mouth drools when I drink water, so it's fading, so I just gotta get this video up. So if you guys are noticing my lipstick fading throughout the video, please don't judge. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Hey, you all! It's your girl, the internet hoe, Jade. Oh my gosh, mom curls! I'm like super duper, super duper, duper, like really excited for this video because this video has been super duper requested. Honestly, I haven't seen anybody who has made swatches of this product on dark skin just like me, so I'm really excited. Y'all been tweeting me, y'all been DMing me, like this review has to happen for today's video mga curls so syempre naman alam nyo naman sa title we are gonna be reviewing Vice Cosmetics Aura Collection the blushes the contour the highlights we got it all girl speaking of course we got all the shades I just also want to mention and also mga curls I just want to give a huge shout out again to Vice Cosmetics also huge respects and hats off to you people who's working in Vice Cosmetics for being so professional I know and dami sa inyo nakilala niyo ako and I had this viral video that I didn't spoke well about Vice Cosmetics I do apologize in the way that I did the review I'm not gonna go around the bushes I just want to own up to it I was kind of mean and kind of brutal but in the other hand I just had a small amount of people who gets my humor so Maybe some people were new to my channel so they didn't find it appealing to them. So yeah, I do want to apologize on that. And also I want to put it out there that I'm not a basher of Vice. And honestly, I'm not a basher of Vice. I really, really genuinely love Vice Ganda. It's just that that lipstick didn't perform well. I thought it would be funny. I'm pretty sure it rubbed you guys the wrong way. That was not my intentions. I just want to put it out there. Vice Ganda has opened so many doors, countless doors for the LGBTQ plus community here in the Philippines. I also want to put it out there and also a disclaimer na rin. Um, like, honestly, I love Vice Ganda. Like, you guys have no idea. The way I love Jeffree Star is like the way I love Vice Ganda. It's just that in that video, it didn't, you know, resonate that way because it was just my humor. I was just trying to make it funny, but it ended up being kind of rude and mean. You know what I mean? The Vice Cosmetics, I just want to thank the company once again for being so professional because and they were very nice enough to send a PR kit to us mga curls. Like, I don't do vlogging just for free makeup. This is very helpful for a channel like us where we review stuff for Morena. I spoke highly and there are some videos that I spoke you know not good about Vice Cosmetics so for them to send me a PR kit especially for someone like me who has early access to the product this really means a lot and this is very helpful so brands better take notes Vice Cosmetics know what they're doing and knows how to handle business and knows how to handle reviews okay Vice Cosmetics by sending me these products you're not just helping me you're actually helping all the brown people here in the Philippines like hashtag ganda for all you guys are really embodying it. We love diversity here. We, everybody's welcome here. So, honesty, no bias, no bullcrap. This is not sponsored. This is PR. I am doing it on behalf of all the brown people here in the Philippines. I really care. Okay, so enough to chattering. I just want to give a huge shout out to Miss Sia. Be sure to follow her on Instagram. Be sh I'll be linking all her socials on the description box below. Thank you so much, Miss Sia, for making this happen. I really, really, and not just me, but also all of my subscribers really appreciate you for making this happen. And thank you so much. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Show the sideways, make it, make it in the air. Show the sideways, make it, make it in the air. Let's move it side to side, make it in the air. Let's move it side. Alright mga curls, so I already have my makeup on and you probably are going to be wondering Uh, Johnny, excuse me, why are you wearing makeup? Um, actually don't worry mga curls, I swatched the blushes on my face prior to filming this So don't you worry girl, I swatched it, what it's going to look like on my skin And also para in depth, alam yung ibang shades, I even use makeup underneath and some without shades Ganon tayo ka in depth sa review na to Tingnan natin kung nakakasikip nga ba tong blush ni Vice Ganda sa Vice Cosmetics Ganyan I'm gonna be swatching it on my hand and I'm gonna be inserting some clips of me trying it with bare face Some shades I decided to swatch it on bare face And some I decided to try it on with makeup so don't get confused I'm gonna be explaining some of the shades throughout the video para mas toro yung review Mas in depth talaga, especially sa mga morena Anyway, so first shade I tried, it yung shade na applauded. This is like a very light, dusty pink color. My only issue with this shade here, syempre may item ako. So, given na yan. This one's very, very ashy and it's very chalky. So, kung morena ka or may tim ka, 
this shade, it's not gonna work for you. It's really light. So that was my issue there. Nung trinay ko siya on my face, it almost looks like parang wala ko nilagay. So this is the shade Applauded. This one, I wouldn't recommend this. I haven't mentioned this earlier, but I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I'm doing this on behalf of brown people. Just looking at the colors, some colors wouldn't suit me. I know that. I am aware. That's why I'm helping other people and other consumers decide what shade to get. Of course, we're different. We have different skin tone. We have different, you know, skin types. So... Whatever works for you, it would work for you. Whatever works for me, that's my opinion. Take reviews with a grain of salt. So the next shade we have here is Sweet Long Curl. Oh my god, imagine if there's a shade called Mushy Cap, ganon, or Curl. Wouldn't it be so funny? So this one's a very bright pink color. So once again, this one, the formula of the blush is really nice. I really like the texture of the blush. But once again, for this shade, this is like a cool toned pink. It's very light for us again. So if you're gonna wear this, on brown skin, it's gonna look ashy and it's not gonna look flattering. So, sweet lang hindi siya nakaka sweet. No sweet lang yung color niya pero hindi siya nakaka sweet pang brown skin. So moving on to the next shade we have here, Shala. You know what, curl Shala? I was very shocked with this color. This one's a very bright color, corally pink. When I tried the two shades, I was like, I was kind of like, ah, oh, you know what? I have a feeling Shala won't work on me. But don't be fooled by Shala. She looks like a bright coral pink. So this is Shala on top. You know what? This is like a bright corally pink. You know what they're actually missing with this collection? It's like a deep, bright orange na blush. That's what they're missing. But this one almost nailed it, but it's just a bright coral on my face. I'm just gonna insert a clip here. It actually showed up. I'm very shocked. Sure. If you guys are looking for a very perfect peach blush, kumorena kaman or mapute, oh, shala. Super shala to sa pisngi mo curl. Sobrang shalang shala ganon. And they also claim this is buildable, and I do agree when it comes to the shade. The shala is very buildable. This will show up on your skin. And when I say it's good, girl, you better believe me, my skin does the talking for you. So this is shala. I like shala. The next shade we have, Winner. So Winner, um, I was really having high hopes with this color since um, since Shala worked on me. But the problem with this shade, this is Winner over here. The pigment is there, the color is there. I'm not sure if because when I was swatching it earlier, I had makeup versus without makeup. This one is this one is a bit patchy, but I might try this in the future again. It's weird. Um, it was clinging on some of my some dry patches i tried to moisturize and it was clinging in some parts of the face i was like trying to blend it out but for some reason um it just doesn't want to work with me to make this review very accurate i made sure that i use different brushes for different blushes okay that rhyme bang bang twister say that fast different brushes for different blushes different brushes for <laughs> and also in case if you're wondering how i swatched my face i used a makeup remover i wiped off the blush i pat off the excess makeup remover with a hanky and i applied my powder foundation on top of my face maybe that's the reason why naging patchy siya kasi may mga parts na nalagyan ng makeup remover comment nga down below if that's what you think if i should give this a go some of the shades wasn't patchy but this one so far winner was kind of patchy i'm not sure maybe because of me like removing my makeup putting makeup again removing makeup maybe it has to do it with that Comment down below if you guys, you know, if you're a dermatologist who knows about makeup and skin, just, you know, that's my opinion. Medja patchy and winner, but I'll give this a try in the future, maybe in future videos. So the next shade is Title. You know what? Title is so gorgeous if you're light skin. This can be your bronzer. I can even see a little bit of shimmer here. It's really pretty. But the thing is, ang problema lang kay Title, this matches almost like my skin tone. So when I'm swatching it here, Though there's pigment, but when I put it on my face, it's almost like there's nothing. I tried it with different brushes. I tried it with concealer. Maybe I was doing something wrong. I tried it with bare skin, and it's not showing up. Kumorena ka, this one wouldn't work on you. Like, straight up, it won't work on you. Pero kumaputika, girl, you know what? The tone of this can be your bronzer. The formula is so good. It's really... This one's very soft and very velvety. I really like the formula. And when I'm, like, doing this, well, I'm powder it it doesn't look powdery like when i use a brush and i do that i don't see a lot of fallouts that's how creamy it is and it's very buttery that to the point when i'm like jabbing my brush in there there's no powder falling down this one's really good this can be your bronzer sa mga mapuputi dyan girl this is your bronzer ganon ang bronzer kunyari masyado maputla ka tignan kung gusto mo mabuhay yung face mo konting tan ganon just apply this like your contour and then just layer your contour. Mas maganda yung blend ng contour when you apply this as a bronzer. So, Morena Kashi's Cancel Title 
It ain't getting the title. This is only for light skin curls out there. All right, mga curls. So moving on. This is my favorite shade. This is Bucon. Oh my gosh, mga curls. Can you guys comment down below? Ano ibig sabihin ng mga names na to? Kasi I was talking to a subscriber. Shout out to you, Micah Curl. She told me what it means. I was like, you know what, girl? The shade Bucon looks so pretty. But what does Bucon mean? And she was like, oh my god, Bucon means beauty contest. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for the gay community. I'm trash. I'm so sorry. So this is Bucon. Bucon is so good. Like, of all the shades, this is the best formulation. Some shades, like, if I'm gonna be completely honest, the shades applauded and the shades sweet lung, they're very powdery. Like, like you can see this. If I do that, there's so many powder falling off. But, look at this. Jabbing my brush on the pan, there's no fallouts, just minimal. That's how thick the consistency is and it's very pigmented. I tried this with makeup on and I, I tried this with makeup on and I tried this on bare face. This actually works. I also went as far as trying it while I'm putting full glam makeup. I'm actually wearing Bucon right now. I'm not sure if you're seeing it, but I put a lot of highlight there, so it's kind of covered. But in person, you can see Bucon. Bucon is so good. Like, oh, this is the best shade. It's like, alam mo yung lip tint ni Vice Cosmetics, yung pa virgin. It's like pa virgin in a blush form. Like, guys, if you're gonna get the blush set, Bucon, ugh. Get Bucon. It's so good. The best word to describe the shade. It's like so romantic. Like, alam niya, ala kasi niya cap. You can wear this to your boyfriend. Tas mamahalin kanya ganon. Hindi kanya iiwan ganon. Kasi ang fresh, fresh mo. Moving on to the next shade. We have here, Taliada. Ito, what does Taliada mean? Can you guys comment down below? Ano ibig sabihin ng Taliada? Nakakaloka. So, this is Taliada. She's a very deep purple color but don't be intimidated by it it's very purple but when you blend it out mga curls it turns into this like reddish purple i don't know if it's doing it on my hands but when you do it on the cheeks i'm going to show you some clips of trying it on my cheeks you know what this reminds me of you alam yung lip tint ni vice yung gina g yung purple na yon it looks like that in a powder form i really like this one this can be since it's purple again it happened it can be a little bit patchy because the color purple is very hard to formulate. My tip here when you're using this color, this is in Taliada. Take your blush brush, don't sweep it on your face, tap off the excess, and then just tap. Just do tapping motions. And then just take off the excess, chaka mo siya sweep sa gilid lang. Wag sa buong blush. Kasi when you do that, nagiging patchy siya. Kasi purple. And if you're lighter, you can use this as a contour blush here. Para mas mukha kang fierce. Ganon. Very fierce. Check and third. Ganon. And for the final shade we have here, Manika. Manika is so good. Don't be intimidated. I know you guys are gonna be like, oh my god, that's like a bright red. What the heck? Don't be intimidated by this color. It looks very neon, but when it touches your skin and when you blend it out, it gives you this flush of color. Imagine like a lip tint that's matte. Ganun yung vibes niya. Like it gives you like this, ano, parang sun kiss. Like, oh my god, nagpa-araw lang ako. Parang siya Luna clay blush, but in a powder version. It's because you're brown, it actually neutralizes how bright this blush is. It gives you like this, you got... Parang bumalik ka sa araw, parang nagbakasyon ka at nagpa-araw ka. Ganun. Ganun yung vibes ni ano. Manika. I'm gonna be completely honest with this one. Like, the contour shades, I was kind of very skeptical. I was like, hmm, are they gonna work for brown skin? I was really skeptical. Like, trust and believe me, I had zero hopes on this one. I was like, okay, come on, let's just try the contour for the review. But no, I spoke too soon. Oh my gosh. This is Confirm. Confirm is so good. Wait, my hands is like kind of dirty. Let me just wipe it off. I'm actually using Confirm as a contour shade and I love it so much. But it's so universal. If, you, if you're a makeup artist or if you like contouring your face or if you contour your clients, I highly recommend this. Oh my gosh, this is Confirm. Like it has, it's brown and the formula, it's so creamy. I like it. It's not chalky. It doesn't feel cheap, you know, for just 145 pesos. This one doesn't feel cheap. And then it feels very luxurious. I like the formula. This one is brown, but it has a hint of orange. Like, I don't know if you can see it. And then in the formula, yeah, so buildable. Like me, I'm not super skilled when it comes to makeup. So I like to work in layers, in layers, in layers. So, because it's very buildable, so I like to like, put a little bit of contour, put more contour. And when I have the right amount of contour, I would stop. So this one is so good. Like I keep layering it. It's not bunching up. It's not caking up. 
it gives you like this beautiful color. Like I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. Hindi siya mukhang gray. It has a little bit of bronzy in there. It has a little bit of bronzy in there. So hindi siya mukhang putik sa skin. Like it gives you like this suntan look. It gives you like a contoured look. It contours your face and it bronzes your face at the same time. Ah, uh, confirm. If you're a makeup artist, a makeup enthusiast, confirm. Confirm siya. Confirm na kailangan mo to, girl. Posture, if you're lighter than me, I think this will work on you. But this one didn't work on me because, of course, obviously, it's very light. But you know what? I would use this for my nose contour because it's very good. This is very light for me. So I would only recommend posture if you're just doing a nose contour. If you're, ayo mo yung mukhang, ano, alam mo yung dalawang stick sa ilong mo. Sobrang OA na. Gusto mo na natural contour lang na para, oh my god, Vicky Bello who? I don't need her. I have posture. Ganon. I have Vice Cosmetics. I don't need Vicky Bello. At saka mga girls, I just want to bring it up. What is your opinion about the star logo and the highlighter? Did you think, do you think Jeffree Star invented stars? You know what I mean? Is Jeffree Star the only person allowed to do it? I mean, Comment down below your thoughts. What is your thoughts about stars in the highlighter? So we have here Splendid Swatcher right here. I like the formula of this. It doesn't feel chalky. It doesn't feel dry. This one's a very nice champagne color. It's not like a yellow champagne. It's like a bright champagne. I really like it. It's very flattering for any skin tones. So this is Splendid. And also, at saka mga curls, nakakaloka. I have a surprise at the end of the video. So make sure you watch till the end of the video because I'ma share you something. Okay? And then we have the next shade here. We have shimmering. Sobrang shimmering na shimmering to. This one's like a peachy color. This one, so this one is shimmering. They look very identical. I don't see the peach in there when it comes to the skin. But on the pan, it's very peach. Oh my god, this is my favorite one. This is in the shade Shining Girl. I really like this one. Off. This is like a perfect gold, like a champagne gold. This one's champagne. This is champagne gold. Like, oh, it's so good. I love the shades. Like, this is very universally flattering for any skin tones. Girl, you can use this, girl. I do have a review of the Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise. Girl, if you're on a budget, actually, and you want to try the Babe in Paradise palette, girl, Vice Cosmetics got you covered. The Shining is a good do for Mahu. And then, um, get laid. Get laid and vacation. You can get away by using using Splendid. Look, they're they're so similar. What's Mahu right here? This is Vice Cosmetics. Let me just swatch it right here. You see? There. It's very similar. I'm swatching vacation here. So it's vacation. And then next is get laid. This is Vice Cosmetics in Splendid. This is Babe in Paradise. This is Vacation. And this is Get Laid. They look super identical here. This three, they look super identical. And then this is Shining. And this this is Maho. And this is Shining. It doesn't feel dry. It feels very rich. It feels very creamy. You can really tell. They really put a lot of thought into it. I actually appreciate this. Which is really nice. I'm just going to remove all the highlighters and swatches on my hands. And, and I'll get back to you, Maho Curls, with my thoughts about the Aura Collection and Aura Glow blushes and contour, okay? All right, my girl, so I just wanna share my thoughts about the Aura Collection of Vice Cosmetics, the blush, contour, and highlighter. So when it comes to the blush, so the pros of the blushes is some shades are very pigmented and really nice and the price is so good and the packaging is so cute. My only issue about some of the blushes is it's not that it's bad, it's just personal preference. Some shades are kinda light, so the only shades I would recommend are as follows. I would recommend Shala, I would recommend Bucon. Bucon's so good. I would recommend Taliada and I would recommend Manika. These four shades, these four shades are so good. The formula is so good. The rest of the shades, I just don't like it because some are just kind of powdery and just too light for our skin tone. But these shades, so good. I love the formula. Like, producing shades like this, Vice Cosmetics, it's so gorgeous. Like, Bucon shade is so good though. Like, Bucon, oh, top favorite Bucon. I, I'm going to put this on my favorites. I like this one. I love everything about the highlights. My only complaint about the highlights is when you look straight, it tends to look a bit gray. But just put setting spray and then uh, take your beauty blender and then dab off the grayness. That'll solve your problem. But yet, you still get a blinding highlight, which is so cute. Oh my gosh, Malkos. Just a side note real quick. 
I know napansin nyo throughout the video na fade pa yung lipstick ko on this side. Hindi ko napansin. I drank water kanina and then I like filmed right away. My eyes are so blurry so I can't see the viewfinder na nabubura na, na pala yung lipstick ko. I am so sorry you had to witness my lips fading. I am so sorry you had to witness that. It's kind of gross but I just have to get this video up. Let's keep on going. So when it comes to the contour, I don't have any complaints when it comes to the contour. Confirm is such a good color if you're morena and if you're looking for a good contour shade. Or if you're a makeup artist, I would really recommend Confirm. And for posture, if you're lighter than me, this will work for you. But if you're like my skin tone, posture is not gonna show up. It's only good for your nose contour because this is like the perfect nose contour shade. Alright, Malcro, so that concludes our review of the Vice Cosmetics Aura Collection. The Aura Glow and Contour Shades and Blushes. What do you guys think about the collection? Comment down below which one was your favorite one and which one you are likely gonna buy. Comment down below. I wanna know. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. Comment down below your request and make sure you subscribe to this channel and I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining and interesting and of course stay fabulous my mother hoes okay bye guys